Hey guys, welcome, Planet Crafter. Been looking forward to this since we finished the beta, waiting for this game to come out. In all honesty, I've been sitting in the Discord for a while going, come on, it's going to be coming out soon. And now we are finally into it. So, Planet Crafter, there's a couple of options now. I'm going to actually have a look through. There's, well, I think we've done all this. We've done all this setup stuff. We've done all right. Yeah, all good, fantastic. Ultra graphics, fantastic. You know, I'm just going to stick on Ultra and be happy. Right, gameplay, done, done, done. Apply and close. Cool. Right, let's press play. So, for all those lovely people out there who don't want to continue, who don't want to start again, who just cannot bring themselves to start this game again, you can actually load your old survival game. So, plus side number one, loving it, and that just means that if I really wanted to, I could just continue. But there's no fun in that. So let's start, let's start again. Then. So we've got uh, survival two, obviously the file name. Game mode. So we have different game modes now. We have relaxing, chill experience. Dying has no consequences. Oxygen, health, and water decrease slowly. Ah, not too bad. Intense. Every item in your inventory gets destroyed when you die. Oxygen, health, and water decrease a bit faster. So okay, that's that's not too bad. Hardcore. Your save file is completely deleted when you die. Oxygen, health, and water decrease. De Basically, hardcore is I'm gonna die. At some point, I'm just not sure when. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. The reason why I'm just gonna stay on standard is because I I want to enjoy myself. If I want to play on on hardcore, let me know in the comments section if you want to see a live stream or a, an actual playthrough on hardcore. And the reason why is because I'd love to see who actually is interested in that. Let me know, comment section. Let's just create. We're gonna go standard. We're gonna have a look around. All right, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, this takes me back. <laughs> All right. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of the world. Generate O2, heat and pressure to do so. First to reach 175,000 TI, create a blue atmosphere. Okay. Obviously, we know how to do all this, so it's all good. Crafting, so we got to craft all this stuff to keep ourselves going, and uh, yeah, and then we're good. So we've got this as our basic necessity. We've got space food, we've got some oxygen, and we've got one bottle of water. Now, thankfully, water is through cobalt. So oh no, it's ice. Sorry. Now, the best thing to do, actually, in all honesty, is to just craft everything it tells you to. So top right hand corner tells you what to do. So we need to craft a backpack. So in order to craft a backpack, we need iron. So let's go and find some iron. That's silicon. That's a new... Oh, there's ice. Yeah, we'll take some of that. I'm taking ice because we need water. Right, iron, 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 iron. Iron! There's iron. Iron, 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 iron. 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 Cool. Backpack. Okay, let's create my backpack. Yeah! Right, okay, so inventory. So you have to push tab to inventory. Backpack. We're going to click on this. And it puts this, and look, more space. It's all good. So one thing I will say is definitely need to make some water. And it's a shame. So one thing I would like is if we, and it never got addressed, but I think we just need like multiple buy. So if we want to just build water bowls, we can. Next, craft oxygen tank. What do I need for an oxygen tank? Two lots of cobalt, one lot of iron, magnesium. So cobalt is the blue stuff. Blue stuff and blue stuff. Magnesium is this funny one over here. Iron is this one here, and I can't remember the other thing I need, unless that's everything. And now I'm stuck. So yeah, my brain just switches off. It's like no. Nah. Oh, we're good. Yes. Equip oxygen tank. Tab. Click. <gasps> oh yeah. Right. Craft microchip construction. So we need to basically build like destruction tool, construction tool, and so on. So construction, deconstruction, and torch. This means we can build our base. So we need silicon and magnesium. And silicon is this black one here. Magnesium is that funny shaped one that we need to... There, there it is. Magnesium. Magnesium. And silicon. And I've got to remember about this box. Let's actually... Let's open it. <gasps> Stuff! Stuff! Right, okay. So that's uh, just behind the door of my ship. Okay. Oh, we need... We need no! We need more silicon. Cool. So we got construction. So we need silicon. Silicon, silicon, silicon. Actually, there might be silicon in that box. We'll take that out. Sil yeah, see? Silicon. And then we've got some iron in here as well. So that's good. That's good to know. 
And we've got some food. We've got some food on us, so we can actually whack that in here. I don't need to hold on to it just yet, but there we go. Sorted that stuff out. Sort this stuff out. We've got enough on us, and it's all grand. Right, next, we need to build the deconstruction tool. And then we'll go click. Yeah. Ah, craft living compartment. So this is where it gets a little bit more funny. The reason why is because... I know what's going to happen. So if you guys haven't seen any of my playthroughs of this when we live streamed it, I know we're in a lake, a lake bed. So the problem with being in a lake bed is that it's going to flood. Like later on, this the, you're terraforming a planet. You need to know this. So if you start in the standard location, which is this bloody valley, right? So we need to build this. I need some titanium. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure that's titanium. Titanium, cool. Right. So when you build a little living quarters... Number one, make sure it's on high ground. Number two, make sure it's not going to flood. I know that this is about the boundary where the water doesn't come up. Now, if you want a nice safe place to build a house, this is a nice safe place to build a house. All right? This whole flat area is a nice safe place to build a house. Trust me. It's all good. So, I need to build... I'm just about to die. So, I need to think about what I'm doing next time. I'm probably going to die, but we're playing on easy, so it's all good. If I can get back to my, if I can get back to my crafter, we'll be okay. Actually, no. Oh, hold on. Oh no! I haven't. Got, oh, we're going to die. I forgot to take oxygen with me. That sucks. Ha! Ah, I'm awake, and thankfully I didn't drop any of my items. Or did I? I think I did. Maybe. Right. Cool. Right. So I need to build a door. So I need iron, titanium. I've got silicon on me. There's a box around here. We've got some stuff in here. So we can have this as well. So. Let's ship all that over here. Warning, low power. Right, let's go and build a door. And what we do is we build a door. We get in. We can live in it. It means that we can use that as our central base then. And then we can just start working it out. The best thing that I found was to... Build like a nice square area to start with and then work from there. So this entrance would be the entrance to my base. One side is going to be like the main control panel. The other side is going to be other stuff. There we go. Uh, full oxygen because the vents work. And there you go. I've just built myself a living quarters. So because this is my front door and it looks a little bit desolate for now. I get it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a control room here. And the rest of my base is going to be all along here. And because we've built up here, this whole area is flat. This means it doesn't flood. And I know this because you can go back into my old playthroughs and find it yourself. So now it's just all about building and sort of just doing what it tells you to do. And that is what I'm going to do. But I want to extend my base out first. Because if I don't extend it out, I haven't got enough room to do stuff. And I know... That this game is going to be like, you need to do this. You need to do that. Yeah, I, I, I bloody know. Warning, low power. Yeah, I know. So it's a little bit dark at the moment. Because we haven't got any, like, power. Plus side, oxygen. Okay. Next stop, we need some iron. The reason why we need iron is because we need to build... I haven't got a light. It's dark. I don't like it when it's dark. I suppose this is like one of the scariest things you've ever done. Now, I, I know the back history of this game and the character, like, log and so on and so forth. So, basically, we're a convict, right? And the idea of this convict was... This is his, this is his sentence. It's to either terraform a planet or go to prison. So, he chose, obviously, to terraform a planet. Which is, you know, that's 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 a massive undertaking for somebody who doesn't really understand what they're doing. The plus side to it is that you know what you got to do. You've just got to keep advancing the planet's health and making sure that you can actually do it. It's, it's just a really, really short form version of terraforming. Right, so let's just get in. Oxygen up. Love that. Let's build a fan so we get some power. We won't need this later. Later, I'll I'll, dis I'll 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 demolish these and I'll have a power room. There we go. Lights, let there be light. So yeah, craft a drill, and then 
the terraforming experience begins. I need titanium and iron. That's iron. And that is titanium. So yeah, I'm not worried about my base. I know that the water doesn't get up this high. It's just natural. Alright, cool. So I'm going to need a drill field. Now I don't tend to extend my base out too far this way. So I'm actually going to put my f drills here for now. And that's all good. And basically I'm only going to have like one extra square here and then the rest of the base goes off that way. So that's fine. And these drills over time I replaced to the bigger drills which means I need a bigger flatter piece of land and that's further over. Okay, so next thing we need to do is craft a terraforming screen and blueprint screen. Now, I think I might be able to do that now but I want to extend my base out first. So one thing I would highly recommend before going further into this game, the, like basically if you set up your first base, do a bit of exploration, do a bit of running around, get yourself up a, a couple of like, get yourself up so you can take care of yourself so it's nothing's too much of a struggle. So upgrade your backpack, upgrade this, that and the other and be happy. And then empty this valley. The reason why I say empty the valley is because when it floods it's a bit harder to get all the stuff off the floor. So, you know, get the, all the elements you need do that sort of thing but yeah I'm liking it it doesn't feel any different than what it was before but at least it's full release now and that's that's the plus side oh, I need titanium oh I could have got uh, like, actually I need oxygen first yeah I know downside I left my food down in my thingy plus side is there's titanium down there yeah so don't forget we have got all this stuff this does need to get to my base before we do anything else so yeah. Yeah, but I'm still going to use it as a, a bog standard area. It's like, okay, I can do this. Is I need to build one of those. When I get one of those and some storage, I put on the other base. We'll be good. If you started in any other place, so if you start at the sand falls, it doesn't matter where you build. It's constantly dry there. Doesn't uh, there's no water at all, which sucks because it's sand. There's lots of it. There's some good stuff there, but it's just sand. This, I would say, even if they say it's the easy part, this is still, like, I would say the best place to start. The uh, the rift, I'm believing, is over there, where all the shiny rocks are. That's where there's loads of titanium. So, as you can see, there's a couple of boxes and stuff laying around down here. So, this is another thing I want to do. I want to get some storage built up at the base, and then we carry on. But I want to get all these, like, little tasks done first. But, yeah, so next thing is the terraforming screen. But I just need... I need to build myself an area first, so I need so I can put things out more than anything. It's just so I've got the room, because I know how big certain things are because of playing the beta. So yeah, this would be my de this is this is my work area. This is my work corner. So screens go across this wall, and then it all extends out. Right. So this is a terraforming screen, and it's massive, by the way. It's not tiny. There we go. So that's what we're up to at the moment. So we've got oxygen zero, heat zero pressure we're up to 75 npa by the way i don't know what npa means if you know down in the comment section that'd be awesome okay blueprint screen so as you can see this is a small screen i need a table i need a table i need a desk i'm sorry i'm a gamer we have we have desks for a reason right there we go hey we got blueprints so all of these will unlock as i upgrade through the world as it's terraforming, as it's moving, all of this is stuff that I unlock. So that's all good. We're just building out now. So that's energy levels. I need silicon for that. We Obviously we need it, you know, because we need it right. Ah, right, water. Cool. Silicon, 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 silicon. I think there's one. I literally tried to memorize where things are so I can just carry on. I want that as well. That titanium is something I need because I want to build the base up a bit more. And then I'm going to put the heater in and the veggie tube in as well because that's how you build your own food and so on and so on and so on. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Uh, we're going to pop it. I don't know if that's actually right. Let me just go and check. <laughs> Doing stuff through a wall work i think it's because the landscape sort of just working through so unfortunately i cannot put my 
my other section here, me love, because of this little hill. So, I'm, that's just how it's going to have to be for a minute. Alright, that's fine. Deal with it. Go. So, yeah, my little this is going to be my little office. Like, this whole room is going to be my office now, because I can't do anything else with it. So, let's build. we got to build a heater. Obviously, I need these. we got to go and get the other stuff from down the hole. So, I'm going to go down to the crafter, pick up a load of stuff, bring it all back here, and then we're going to start building out. Now, in order to get iridium for the heater, I need to do specific things. So, that's like... Upgrading my oxygen tank, upgrading this, that, and the other, and being happy, which is fine. And then I want to go and explore these ships as well, because obviously I need to explore them, because they're things to explore. But I know where Iridium is. It's just a little bit further away than my oxygen can take me, so I need to upgrade all my stuff. So that's going to be fun. It's really weird coming back to this game, like, after you've done everything, and then be like, hey, cool, I'm coming back. Oh, yeah, it's a barren wasteland. That that was what that that's one thing that you just like I don't get this at all. Let's put oh come on man, pop right. So I need iron. Have I got iron in here? I have one lump of iron. I need another iron. So to start, this is literally how you play the game. I mean, the start of this game is a little bit slow, a little bit more precarious, but you will get to a point where it's just like it's easy. And I think that just goes for anywhere. I think with the harder difficulty, it's a little bit more like harder to survive. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, we did it around the right way. Fantastic. So I've got a plant. Can we build a veggie tube? I need ice. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Suit you, sir. There's ice just outside my door. There's ice. Ice from the sun. So ice helps terraforming because it's obviously water. And a veggie tube. Now, with the veggie tube, what we do is we take one of these, a seed, and we stick it in here. Right? And then, basically, that works as, if you look at the stats, it says oxygen, 0 0.15 ppq. I ain't got a clue what that means. And energy, minus 35. So, it's taking 35 watts out of my, my, my power but it's adding to the oxygen of the game for you guys if you if you are looking into getting this game it does come out today it's the 24th of march and i'm gonna be honest i'm glad it's out because i, I wanted to go further into this journey with you guys but i couldn't because i couldn't live stream it anymore but well there we go let's have it so this is the uh this is the start of my planetary takeover to become the basically the ruler of the world because there's nobody else here it's all good so I'll, I'll potter on for a little bit. We'll do a few other bits and pieces. But this is the end of episode one. I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, I want to say thank you very much for kicking by. It means the most. And I'll see you all in another one. So peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. A boom. A fist bump to you.